I have posted a video on why you look bad in everything you wear, which may sound a bit controversial, but it really resonated with many of you. So if you haven't watched that yet, I really would recommend pausing on this video and watching that one first because I gave some general advice there about your color contrast, proportions, and some other principles. And in today's episode, I want to dive into more of specific styling principles that combined together will let you feel well-equipped and ready to make your outfits just better. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Giedre. I work as a personal stylist and here on this channel, I share my knowledge about style, body types, proportions, and styling tricks and best practices to empower you to feel and look your very best today. From time to time, I do live broadcasts where you can ask fashion-related questions and style dilemmas. So if you are new here, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out on valuable content that I post. And today I will be sharing practical principles with examples with real women using their wardrobes to showcase how to make basic outfits better and elevate your daily style. So again, just take from this video what resonates personally with you and adjust it to fit to your own style. Let's get started. Number one. Have you heard the saying, if you feel great, you will look great? I have, but now I realize maybe just too little. We are usually told buy this in order to look good. We hear about must-have items and I get it, you know, sometimes it's really useful, but we just need to learn how to count in our feelings rather than generating new shopping lists. Every time when you are not satisfied with your outfit, just describe in your own words, how do I look? Usually when we feel our look is somewhat off, it usually means that it doesn't align with our feelings or the way we want to look or we want to be perceived. So for example, uh, the outfit here looks a little bit, you know, it looks okay, but a little bit off. The color combination is quite boring. The fit and overall outfit looks a little bit outdated, which is totally the opposite what my client Ligita wanted to feel. And when we ask how we can make this outfit modern and cool, we find the right tools. So we decided to swap to something edgy and fresh, and that just changes the whole dynamic of this look. Now it looks the way Ligita wanted to feel, fresh, modern, casual, but chic in her own style. So when we put into the words our feelings, it is so much easier for you to understand where you are at and then adding some elements, usually opposite of that, helps to find out the right outfit formula for that day. Styling. This is really all about wearing versus styling, how you can make your outfits just better. And styling is usually not about what we have in our wardrobe, but more about what we do with what we already have. And here I want to take this exciting opportunity and to invite you to join my waiting list for an exclusive event that I'm planning to run. Wardrobe challenge, you have what to wear. This is exactly about how you work with what you already have. If you want to get more practical insights, fun tasks to complete for a span of two weeks, I assume, my personal feedback, uh, live Q&As, and a group of supporting like-minded women, then hit the link in the description box to join the waiting list. And I will get back to you once this challenge is ready to take off. I'm so excited for this. I see a lot of women 
having plenty of clothes in their wardrobe but they are just not wearing them they don't know what to do and i really hope that this challenge will help you to look at your wardrobe in a different perspective to find new ways how you can style mix and match your pieces and just basically have fun because as i always say fashion is supposed to be fun but sometimes we just need to shift our perspective and i really hope that this challenge might be just a perfect start for you to do so so do not hesitate hit the link in the description box join the waiting list and i cannot wait to start this exciting journey with you now getting back to this styling part as you know i do a lot of styling adjustments in my styling videos to elevate the look of my guest and the latest episode was dedicated to that and i'm showcasing their 15 spring outfit ideas and how to elevate your basic items so if you haven't watched that yet you can watch it later if you need a boost of ideas when it comes to styling there are two ways first one play with proportions and that can really upgrade your whole outfit by just tucking unbuttoning accentuating the waistline rolling up the sleeves i do that a lot and i really hope that already by now you know how impactful those small tweaks may be the second way for elevating your style is accessorizing so just keep in mind that the bag shoes the type of belt you are opting for um, head accessories small details are really great tools in order to create different styles and different vibes addressing how you are feeling today and how do you want to feel and what tools do you need in order to get there moving on to the third color sandwich method so to break it down in simple terms the sandwich rule puts a name to the practice of matching your top with your shoes like two slices of the bread and choosing bottoms the sandwich filling of a different color or print so let's take a look into this example beige bomber jacket or shoes look a little bit off as they don't uh, correlate well so if we swap the white sneaker to beige to match it with the top half it instantly looks more cohesive and put together another example wearing red shoe for instance and repeating that with your lip color again it is also based on this color sandwich method which helps to elevate your look and create color coordination so adding some repeatable threads in your outfit really creates that color harmony which is appealing to our eyes layering Sometimes when you feel that your outfit is a little bit too plain, try adding some textures by adding layers. And spring is a great season for layering. Let's have a practical example. So here's the very plain look. Yes, we have some textures and it looks quite okay. Uh, but let's add a little bit of interest with an additional body underneath and it freshen ups the whole look. So as you can tell, a simple tweak, but the outfit looks so much better instantly. We could add some additional layers further on, like a blazer, accessories as well. And uh, by doing that, once again, we get a new combination and a much more interesting look. So don't you be afraid to layer the things up, uh, be it a cardigan, waistcoat, blazer, jumper. Just, you know, experiment and find the combinations that work for you. Number five, take a selfie. 
when we look in the mirror, we are much more subjective and we usually can't see ourselves as a whole. In most cases, we just cannot objectively, critically see the outfit itself because naturally we'll usually end up thinking about our body, you know, issues, definitely looking at our ties or too narrow shoulders or like whatever. And I think this is because we are so used to look at the mirror just in order to fix something rather than to celebrate or embrace. When it comes to our style, taking photos of you to document your outfits makes so much easier to realize what does and doesn't work for you and what you do and don't love. When you don't know which pair of pants to buy, just simply take photos and compare them, identifying how it sits on you and what proportions work for you better. In case you are looking off and feeling meh, add elements as discussed in the tip number one and take photo. And again, compare which sides do you prefer today based on your feelings. Also, taking photos of the outfits helps to build you sort of a library of your looks. And I always, always recommend having a separate folder on your phone and making sure to say there all the great outfit formulas that you wore and most importantly, felt great in those photos you can always identify the things that you are missing it just makes the life so much easier and I really do believe that with time your senses of self and your style will just definitely get better and that is it for today if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it it really helps my channel don't forget to join the waiting list for this amazing event, the wardrobe challenge, you have what to wear. Until the next time, keep shining and stay classy. Ciao, ciao. Finito.